everyone, this is CB Smallwood and welcome to Mental Junk Food, the place where we talk about all things comics, sci-fi, horror, fantasy, pop culture, and everything in between. And today, we're going to talk about how fiction, fiction has become reality. If you uh, followed my channel, <clears throat> you will know that I did uh, a couple of videos about the movie 28 Days Later, and 28 Weeks Later, and 28, I think, Years Later. Anyway, um, like I said, fiction has become reality because apparently a bunch of monkeys escaped from a lab, and uh, yeah, the, I guess that's not concerning, is it? Uh, I like to cite my sources before we go any further, so if you want to cut the middleman out, you can go over to the AP, which is APnews.com, APnews.com. The headline reads, 24... 24 more monkeys that have escaped from a South Carolina lab are recovered unharmed. Thank goodness. That, that was in the forefront of my mind. Let's not hurt these monkeys. What time they're splitting, spreading the new plague. Uh, <clears throat> uh, more than half of the monkeys bred for medical research that escaped from a compound in South Carolina last week have now been recovered unharmed, officials said Sunday. 24 monkeys were captured on Sunday, a day after a, another of the 43, oh my gosh, pull out the, the last remaining hair off the top of my head, 43 escaped monkeys were recovered. How bad is this situation? A sizable uh, group remains active along the compound's fence line and embedded down in the trees for the night. Police in uh, Yemisee, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correct, probably not, about 50 miles, which is 80 kilometers, northeast of Savannah, Georgia, said in a statement. Veterinarians have been examining the animals and initial reports indicate they're all in good health, the police said. And, uh, oh boy, I cannot pronounce that. Uh, Rhesus McQuays made a break for it Wednesday after an employee at the Alpha Genesis facility in uh, Yemisee didn't fully lock a door as she fed and checked on them, officials said. How could she make such an error? Oh my goodness. And then on top of that, the name of the company, Alpha Genesis? Alpha Genesis? Now, listen Alpha Genesis, do not get upset with me if you happen to watch this video. I'm sorry, I did not pick the name of your company. But when I hear the word Alpha Genesis, it's, it's straight out of fiction. It really is. It's straight out of a bad sci-fi horror movie where things go wrong. <laughs> this is some really bad marketing. I'm sure that you um, treat these animals so humanely and you're so on top of things and you're like the best company ever and buy stock in Alpha Genesis, okay? But you gotta admit, that, that, that name's a little sus, as the kids say. <laughs> oh man and I wonder what happened to the employee that uh, fed these animals and kind of didn't fully lock the door what happened to her what's the deal with these protocols so anyway since their escape the monkeys have explored the outer fence of Alpha Genesis compound cooing at the monkeys inside the primates continued to interact with their companions inside the facility Saturday which police has said was a positive sign uh, Alpha Genesis CEO Greg uh, Westergaard has said the efforts to recover all the monkeys will continue for as long as it takes. The monkeys are about the size of a cat. They're all females, weighing about 7 pounds, which is 3 kilograms. Uh, Alpha Genesis federal health officials and police all said the monkeys pose no risk to public health. You know, I remember seeing a movie where, um, I think it was John Cusack in the movie. I'm, I'm trying to remember. It's a disaster movie. It doesn't matter. But in the movie, he says, when the government tells you not to panic, that's when you panic. <laughs> the facility breeds the monkeys to sell to medical and other researchers. So they breed these monkeys and sell them to facilities that do experiments. Alpha Genesis provides primates for research worldwide at its compound in Yemisee, according to its website. Now, I'm not really... For certain, because I read a couple other articles on the story, and I felt like this was the one that kind of rolled off the tongue the best. And um, and one of them, it seems to me from memory that um, 
that there was a law or something passed in India where they were not going to sell monkeys to the U.S. or, or whoever. And so this was a, a creative solution here in the U.S. to uh, create a breeding program for uh, alpha genesis there where they would sell it to research facilities around the world. So uh, I might have that wrong, but let's check out alpha genesis. Let's see what they're about. Ooh, this is a real deal. Alpha Genesis Incorporated, primate research specialist. Just look at these monkeys. All right, and uh, for, su for successful primate research, Alpha Genesis Inc. provides the highest quality of non-human primate products and bio-research services worldwide. With a client base that extends across North America, Europe, and Asia, we are dedicated to providing only the best and most cost-effective primate research and development support to the scientific community. They got primates for biomedical research. Cut them up, buddy. Contact research services. Primate research centers maintain the highest quality professionals who work diligently in the development and execution of vast range of non-human primate contact research applications. That's a mouthful. They got primate bioproducts. They got primate housing and CDC quarantine. And they have diagnostics for all your primate experimenting needs. So, um, <clears throat> wow, I think this is just the craziest thing. We got all these monkeys running around in one of the Carolinas. Uh, but I think it's within a fenced in pro property, so that's encouraging. And. Uh, <clears throat> You know, 28 days later, 28 weeks later, 28 years later, and you, and you and you know all these movies, and then you see this, and then there's the classic outbreak movie nobody talks about with Dustin Hoffman, and it's just like, oh boy, do we not learn anything, lady? Next time you go feed the animals, you double and triple check those cages are locked. Well, if you thought this uh, information was enlightening, entertaining, or what have you, please hit that like button and subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. This is CB Smallwood saying, uh, be good friends and stay spooky out there and I will see you in the next video.